Welcome back to another episode of our Joy of Life Challenge. And as you can see, we are here with Danica. She just is taking care of little Candice, who is feeling pretty sad. She is feeling quite fussy because she feels left behind. I'm not exactly sure why she feels left behind because she is surrounded by her family, but that is okay. We are going to be jumping into this episode, and we are in this episode going to be seeing our twins age up into toddlers, which is going to be super, super exciting. I can't wait to see what they look like as toddlers. And then we are going to be having our family expand and grow up here. And it's going to be so exciting to see. We, as we know, do need Danica going ahead and continuing on with her journey of baking. So we are definitely going to be experiencing some more of that going on. Let's go ahead and put Candace down and let her get a little bit of rest maybe. And I'm going to go ahead and send Danica into the kitchen. She is feeling pretty hungry this morning. So I'm going to let her go and get herself a serving of breakfast. It does look like Finley is also feeling quite hungry and it Looks like Reva is also hungry this morning, so we'll get him up from his rest and we'll let him grab himself a serving of food as well. So everyone's going to go ahead and get themselves a quick bite to eat here. And as you can see, Finley has put Sophia down because she's feeling quite tired. As far as work goes, it looks like it is fall break currently, so Finley does have the day off. He is really not doing well on his task for work. He has to reach level five of his fitness skill and he's only at a level one. So we may have him work on some of his fitness skill because he needs to get that fitness skill up so that he can go ahead and get that promotion at work. So after he eats, I think I'm going to go ahead and send him off jogging so that he can get some work on his fitness skill. So we'll have him go and work on some of his personal development skills there. And a lot of reason that he has not been able to work on that is because he usually spends so much time taking care of the children and not so much time on himself. But I think that Danica is doing a little bit better job of tending to the children and pitching in and helping out. So because of that, I think that she can come and help out a little bit more and we will definitely be able to let Finley start working on some of his own skills so that he can work towards getting that promotion for his job, which is going to be fantastic. So I am just going to have Danica go on, get her breakfast here, and then maybe she can work towards some of her work skills as well. 
maybe we can get her to select a gig and she can start working towards something for that. It does look like we have some thing here, a favored cake she can make for 2,000 Smolians. So we'll go ahead and we'll do that. So after she finishes her breakfast, we'll get here in here chatting with the client and find out what it is that they want her to make. <laughs> it looks like they want her to make a wedding cake. So we love that. I don't actually know if she has enough skill quite yet to make wedding cakes. She has a baking level six, so she may still not have enough skill to make a wedding cake. Let's take a look and see if she can bake a wedding cake. Um, I don't think she can as of yet, um, but we'll just make a regular cake and put a wedding topper on it. It's really not a big deal. Let's check the cook option because sometimes the wedding cakes are under the cook option. I don't really know why that is, but that'll be perfectly fine. So we will check this and see if there is a cake under here that she can make. I mean, there are a ton of cakes that she can make, but I'm just looking for the tiered cake. It doesn't look like it. So I'm just going to have her make a special cake from one of these specialty items and we'll see about putting a, a topper on it. Maybe we can make a strawberry white chocolate cake. Let's make that one and we'll put a topper on that. That'll be beautiful. All right, so he is out, or he was out getting a run, but he's back now and he is like, I am disgusting, I need a bath. So we'll let him come in and take care of his hygiene. She's just in here chatting with the client. It looks like Reva did get himself a little bit of food and he is just wanting to come in and chat with his mom. Why are you wanting to chat with your mom? Just because you want to chat with your mom. Okay, we love that. Reva is a chatty Kathy. He loves to chat. He loves to carry on conversations with his family members. So we absolutely love that for Reva. But right now, as you can see, Danica is in the zone. She is trying to get some work done. So after she finishes taking care of this work order, then maybe she can spend a little bit of time with Reva. It does look like she does want to play with him. So maybe she can do just that and she can spend some time with him one-on-one -on -one and they can obviously bond a little bit because it does look like he wants to spend time with her. She wants to spend time with him. And so, you know, we can just go ahead and spend a little bit of time with Reva and that way he doesn't start to feel neglected. But in the meantime, why don't we go ahead and get him in here and he can start to build a tower and he can play with some shapes and that will be perfect for him because he can start working on a little bit of his skills there as well which will be fantastic so she is just going to go ahead and finish up this cake then we'll put a topper on it and then i'll send her off to the washroom and then we'll be able to go ahead and send that off to the completion of the order which will be fantastic so Let's go ahead and put a topper on. Oh, that cake is so adorable. Oh, I love that. That is great. Let's go ahead and add a wedding cake topper to that. And then we can pack the pastry order. All right. And we are then going to get Finley. How is his fitness level anyway? How's that looking? Did he get up his fitness at all? He is doing pretty good. He was at 73%. He is... I mean, he's getting there. He's uh -huh. he's not great, but he's getting there. He's feeling a little bit insecure from feeling dry and itchy. I mean, okay, that's fine. Danica, let's go ahead and take this pastry order and deliver it. And that way we can complete that order. He is going to come on in here and just check on the girls. It does look like Sophia is needing a bit of a bath. So maybe we can give her a little bit of a bath. Oh my gosh, it looks like Candice is needing a little bit of a bath as well. Both of the girls are in rough, rough shape. So it looks like he is probably going to want to take care of them. So we will let him go ahead and give them a bath and get them all squared away while Danica is out delivering that pastry order. As you can see, Reva is in here. He is building that tower and he's doing a great job. He's feeling super happy and we love that for him. So I am thankful that he is in a great, you know, spirit here. Let's go ahead. When mom gets back, she can just come in here and play with Reva a little bit. And Finley's going to make sure that the girls get cleaned up. 
It doesn't look like Finley cares too much about fall break, but we do know that Danica wants to go on a vacation. I don't know that we will actually be able to go on a vacation considering they are trying to save their funds. We do know that once this the girls age up, we are going to have to be rearranging their room or at the very least we're going to have to upgrade their room a little bit um, to make it toddler approved. So I think that that's going to take a little bit of our funds and I'm not exactly sure that you know, it's going to be ideal for us to spend our funds on a vacation. Even though Danica is really wanting to to go and do a vacation, she's kind of feeling like they need to take a vacation as a family because they haven't been anywhere. But, you know, why don't you come in here and hug Reva and then you can maybe do a little bit of playtime with him. I think that would be really great if you played with him for a little bit. Oh, this is so sweet. And once again, Danica is feeling a little bit hungry, so we're going to send her in and let her get a bite to eat. And then once Finley is done with Candice, we'll let him get a grab, like go and grab a bite to eat as well. Oh, it looks like little guy's hungry too. All right, let's go ahead and pull something out for him to eat. Maybe we'll do some churros. He can have some churros. Aww. They're so cute. <laughs> She's like, do you love that? Grandma, do you love it? And he's like, yes, mommy, I love this. It's so much fun. So as you can see, Danica has really gotten better at being with the children and spending time with the children and her whole motherhood outlook has really gotten stronger. She is really doing a much better job at this whole motherhood thing. In the beginning, she kind of struggled and she was not doing very good at this. She spent most of her time kind of doing whatever it was that she wanted to do and forsaking the children um, in in hopes of doing whatever it was she wanted to do and she wasn't really trying to be neglectful but she kind of was leaving everything up to Finley and now she's doing much better in that realm of things. All right so Candice is good and Sophia needs to be fed so we will get Danica when she is done eating here to go on in here and we will get her to feed Sophia. So we'll come on in here and let's give Sophia a little bit of a feed and let's just get this diaper cleaned up here. Oh my goodness, we just need to clean up all of this stuff as well. So Finley and Danica are just having themselves a little bit of a bite to eat together and then we'll go and we will take care of Sophia, as you can see, Reva just reached movement level five, which is fantastic. He's going to be running all over the house. Danica's like, good job, Reva. You have done it. You are such a big boy. And he's like, yay, I've done it. And she's like, yeah, you have. Why don't you go on in here, Reva, and actually use the potty chair because you could stand to use the potty. And we definitely need you doing that, sir. So we are going to go ahead and make sure that Sophia is good and taken care of here. She is also feeling pretty tired, so why don't you put her to sleep once you're done in her crib, and that way she can get herself quite a bit of sleep here, and she won't be, you know, left to her own devices here on the play mat. We're just going to make sure she's tucked tight into bed there, which will be great for her. She's like, no, I'll just lay her on the playmat. Or you could totally do what I said. She's like, well, I've got to go clean up first, and then I'll put her to bed. All right, Finley, I know you want to go and play these video games, but honestly, you really do need to go jogging and get your fitness level up. As much as you don't want to do that, I really need you to do that. So I'm going to take him out jogging again and make him work on his fitness. Danica is just going to clean up a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and get Sophia into bed. It. She's like, I am, you know laying here on this playmat, but I, I could really stand for some sleep. 
So go ahead and put Sophia into her crib and let her get a little bit of rest there. So as you can see, the family is pretty well off. They're doing pretty, pretty good between Finley's work and between her making money with her freelancer career. They have about 23,165 simoleons, which I think is pretty decent. Um, if, if I'm being honest, we, we love that. Why don't you come on in here and tell a story to Reva and how is Reva doing? Does he, well, he needs a bath. All right. Why don't you go ahead and give him a bath? Give a bubble bath to Reva. Uh, and Lay's calling us and she says, Hey Danica, Eugene Mock has asked me out on a date. Should I say yes? Sure. Go for it. All right. Go ahead and finish telling Reva the story, and then we're going to pop him into the tub and give him a little bit of a bath. We definitely need to get him cleaned up. What is this? Ask Finley about his day. Okay, well, Finley's out running, but we will make a chance to talk to Finley at some point as well. And he has earned 568 simoleons on his holiday, which is great. So, I mean, they're making good, decent money here, which is good. I mean, Finley is, like I said, not getting a promotion right now. He is a sergeant mi uh, minor, which is the level four in the military career, which isn't too bad. But it would be nice if he could go ahead and get another promotion at his career. All right, let's go ahead and ask Finley about his day, uh, because that is something that she wants to do. So we will go ahead and ask him about his day. Well, they can become um, best friends, which I love. Look at him and him scarfing down a cupcake. Okay, we love that for you. Um, go ahead and ask him about his day. And it has just advised us that it is almost Sophia's birthday, which means it's almost Candice's birthday as well, which we absolutely love. I'm just going to go ahead and have Danica come on in, and she's going to chat a little bit with Finley. They're going to... Go ahead and greet one another. She feels like she hasn't seen them all day because he's been out running and taking care of some of his his needs. And she's obviously been working and she's been taking care of Reva and the, and the girls. And so she just feels like she hasn't really had a chance to see Finley today. And so they're just catching up a little bit. She's asking about how his day's gone and he's telling her, it's been really good. You know, I've been able to get a little bit of running in and I'm working towards some things for my career and so we love that what are they doing going to woohoo oh my goodness okay well I, they just autonomously decided to go do that we love that for them all right so i'm gonna send reva in here we're gonna let him go and have a little bit of a sleep the others are the girls are also getting themselves a little bit of sleep and our adults have decided that they wanted to autonomously woohoo so we love that for them they've just decided that they needed some romantic time i guess um, they were like, we haven't seen each other all day, and I am missing you. I don't even know who initiated that, but they were like, we need some time together. And I guess I love that for them. I do hope that they don't get pregnant again, because I am not trying to do all that nonsense. So we will have Danica come and um, take a pregnancy test, because it looks like no protection was used. And we freaking love that for them. Um, does she even take birth control pills? I don't think so. No, she doesn't. All right, let's get her in here and take a pregnancy test because, you know, that's all I need is for them to have another freaking baby. Oh my gosh, I was not prepared for this. Um, I really don't want them to have another child. Fingers crossed that she is not expecting because I am not... I'm not trying to have another baby in this house. I really did only want the the three. Oh my God, she's having another child. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Look at her face. She's like, oh my God, are you shitting me? Is she happy about this? Danica is going to have a child. It seems it will be a special and important time in Danica's life. She feels res reasonably ready for it, but not overjoyed. A little scared, a little enthused, a little everything to be honest. I mean, I guess you're a little handling it better than I am. I don't know how I feel about this. I was not wanting you to have another child. I only wanted the three. 
Now we're gonna have us another baby and I just am not sure I'm ready for this. Honestly, I did not want you to have a woohoo and I definitely did not want you to have a baby. Uh, and you just decided to do this all by yourself and here we are pregnant again and your twins are just about to age up to toddlers and now you're going to be starting all over again and she's like finley honey we're expecting again and he's like what and she's like yeah yeah we're having a baby did you tell him you were supposed to tell him Yeah, she told him. Finley and his partner are going to have a child. Lots of responsibilities involved, but they'll figure it out. He seems pretty happy about this news. Actually, he's very happy about this news. I think that, you know, she's probably thinking, how are we going to do this? Like, this house is not big enough for four children and two adults. And, you know, how, how are we going to do this? And I agree. How are we going to do this? I am shocked right now. I don't even know what to say. Um, she's feeling a little bit tired. He's definitely feeling tired. As you can see, he has headed himself off to bed. I don't know why you are outside in a thunderstorm, Reva. Please come back in and go to bed. It is time for you to go to bed. And I'm going to go ahead and send Danica off to bed as well. Everyone's going to get some sleep. It is about 7 o'clock at night. And we are going to allow them to just go and get a little bit of rest. Obviously, we will be having Candice wake up soon and be needing to get fed because she is starting to feel a little bit hungry. So once she wakes up crying, we'll get probably Finley in here to take care of her. He will want Danica to rest because she's, you know, expecting. But let's go ahead and carry on here. It does look like Sophia has woken up. She's feeling really, really scared from the thunderstorm. And it has woken her and she's just freaking out. She's also feeling a little bit hungry. I'm going to get Finley up and he can go ahead and feed Sophia. And then when Candice wakes up, we'll get him to feed Candice as well. So we'll take care of the little ones here. He's like, you don't have to be scared, Sophia. It's okay. It's just a little bit of a thunderstorm. And Sophia is probably thinking to herself, a little bit of a thunderstorm? Didn't you hear that loud noise? Like, it completely woke me up. Um, let's go ahead and also wake up Candice and we'll get her fed because she's actually quite hungry. Um, so we'll wake her up. We'll give her a little bit of a feed here and make sure that she is taken care of. Get in here and feed her. He's like, but I need a shower. I totally get that, but you also need to take care of your little one. So feed this little baby and then you can get yourself a bath. It'll be perfectly fine. And oh, poor Danica, she's starving. Well, we'll get her up. We'll let her get herself a bite to eat here. And you know, it is like 1030 at night, but she's like, I'm starving. Okay, get up and get yourself something to eat, Danica. I know you're hungry. It does look like actually Reva is feeling pretty hungry as well. I don't really understand why they're so hungry. Um, but they are quite hungry. Danica, honey, get over here and get you some leftovers. Come get you some of this. There you go. Oh, this is broken. Let's just replace that. And it looks like it's snowing. So now we have had our first snow of the season. We love that. I am going to go ahead and send Finley to bed. Danica is taking herself a little bit of a shower. Reva, why don't you come on and come back to bed? It's midnight. And Candice is not in a good way. Sophia is so tired. Okay, Sophia, why don't you just go to bed? Let's put Dan Danica, why don't you put Sophia to bed? No, Sophia's asleep. Okay, great. Very good. Come and change her diaper. And then you need to go to the washroom because you are desperate for a wee. Really? You should have relieved yourself with that, but that's fine. Let's get you back into the bathroom here. It is officially the girl's birthday, but it is still bright and early, so we're not going to age them up until a little bit later here. 
fall break was successful for Reva. It was awful for Finley and Danica. So, you know, there's that. But Danica has some serious morning sickness going on. Finley, honey, you need to go get yourself something to eat. You're pretty hungry. Pretty hungry. He's like, don't you worry about me. I'm on the job. I'm not ever going to miss a meal. We know that's true about you. Yes, we do. All right, so Danica is just in here. She's going to have a chat with Finley about the baby. She's like, I've got some serious morning sickness. And he's like, do you? And she's like, yeah. I was really not expecting us to have another baby. I am not prepared for this at all. And he's like, it'll be okay. And she's like, this is the last one we're having. And he's like, okay. She's like, I'm serious, Finley. I'm not even playing with you. And he's like, okay, love. And she's like, Ugh, I'm, I'm so just not happy about this. She's like, I mean, I am happy about it. I love children, but I'm just, I can't believe this. That makes two of us. Danica, that makes two of us. Can you change this baby's diaper? Because, I mean, look at this dirtiness. Just look at it. All right, so it is about 3 o'clock in the morning. It is still really early. I don't think maybe we should really be aging them up. But, Danica, can you come feed candies? I probably am going to change, um, age them up, though, just because, you know, I want to see what they look like as toddlers. Oh, you just threw that dirty nappy on candies? That is so rude, Finley. And as we know, Candice was born first, so after she gets fed, we'll go ahead and we'll age her up first, I think. I'm going to have Danica come and make them a cake, because I don't think we have one in the fridge. Let's take a look. Do we have a cake in here? Oh my gosh, we do. Is it a whole cake? Oh my gosh, we have a cake. I can actually add birthday candles and they can blow this out. That is a bloody miracle. How in the world did that happen? I love it. So no, I don't have to get her to make a cake. I can just get her to get candles on this. Let's go ahead and we are going to um, help Candice blow out her candles. <laughs> Look how cute they are. All right, happy birthday Candice. And I am just going to age up Candice. Now we're going to randomize her trait. She got Charmer. These toddlers love to socialize. They earn communication skill faster and don't suffer stranger danger from strangers. They can share the love with other Sims. Perfect. She also had communication too and thinking too. Wonderful. And let's go ahead and add birthday candles back to this cake. And then we are going to come and we are going, don't you do it, Finley. I'll beat you up. If you touch that cake, I will just straight up beat you up. And we are going to go ahead and we're going to come and age up Sophia. And let us help blow out candles for Sophia. And then we will jump into Cass and we will see what our girls are going to look like. It does look like... Um, Candy's aged up with some crazy CC going on, so we'll have to get them definitely made over here. But let's go ahead and age up little Sophia. Bring her in here. Come on, Danica. Bring her in here and let her blow out her candles. She's like, I'm coming. Calm down. I'm taking my sweet time. Oh, my gosh. You are driving me. Help Sophia blow out her candles. What are you doing? Driving me crazy. Happy birthday, baby. All right, and Sophia has aged up, and she is going to be silly, goofy, and curious. These toddlers love to tell jokes and get playful. They earn imagination skills slightly faster, and she had communication two and thinking one. All right, and let's go ahead and jump into cast with them and give them their makeovers. I'm actually going to have Finley, I think, work on... The upgrade, oh no, we can't. Okay, so we'll have to change their nursery out and get it all set up for toddler room. So let's go ahead and jump into Cass and we will give them their makeovers. Okay, here we have Candice Buckner. 
who is a little charmer. This is what she looks like after her toddler makeover. And let's go ahead and go through her outfits. This is her everyday outfit. And then we have her formal wear and her sleepwear, her party outfit, her swimwear, her hot weather, and her cold weather. And then we have her sister, Sophia. And this is what she looks like after her toddler makeover. She again is a, I think, what was she, silly? Yes. And then we have her everyday wear. And then we have her formal, her sleep, her party, her swimwear, her hot weather, and her cold weather. And let's go ahead and jump back into the game. All right, now that we are back into the game, I am just going to quickly give their bedroom a little bit of a makeover here and get it set up for toddlers. And then we are going to probably end this episode. So let's go ahead and update their bedroom really quickly. Okay, so we have the girls room updated it is just a little quaint bedroom for them with their little toddler beds which is super cute and we are going to go ahead and let them come on in here and get a little bit of rest it looks like candice has already gone ahead and gone to sleep in there in the floor as has sophia so i'm going to go ahead and get them up and let them come on in here and go to bed in their toddler bed because both of them are feeling pretty tired so let's go ahead and get them up and get them into their bed. 
We are just going to let Danica clean up a little bit. She is feeling like the house is a little bit disgusting. And yeah, other than that, you know, she's pregnant and it is what it is. She'll be in her second trimester in 11 hours. And Finley is just, once again, helping himself to a little bit of a cupcake. He needs to get himself off to the washroom. And then I am going to send him off to bed because he is feeling a little bit tired and he needs to get himself a little bit of rest. Everyone is actually feeling a little bit tired. They didn't sleep well the night before, it would seem. And so everyone's going to get themselves a little bit of shut eye. I am going to go ahead, though, and leave this episode here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are notified when new episodes go live on the channel. And I will see you guys in our next episode of our Joy of Life Challenge, where we are going to be seeing Danica most likely giving birth to her next child. And we'll be continuing on with this challenge. And until next time, I'm going to go ahead and fly for now. Bye, Ravens.